Hello and welcome to the Learning Hub. Today we will going to discuss about the methanotropic bacteria as promised in the earlier video. This will be our lecture number two. Go check out our previous video on biochar. So this will be important for upcoming prelims UPSC 2020 that will be held in 4th October 2020. So going to the first why methanotropic bacteria is in news because recently scientists at the Agarkar Research Institute Pune have enriched and isolated and cultivated 45 different stains of methanotropes that is methane utilizing bacteria and created the first indigenous methanotropes culture. This ARI that is Agarkar Research Institute is an autonomous institute and it's under the Department of Science and Technology that is DST. So question will be found from ARI as it is or it was in news in recent times. So what are the key points of the methanotrops? Scientists used some of the isolated stains of methanotrops as bioinoculants. Bioinoculants is that what we will study in the next slide. So coming to the point that is why, what are the points we need to note down for our upcoming prelims. That is they found out that there was a decrease in methane emission in inoculated plant with a positive or neutral effect. We will not sure that is it will be a positive or, or negative but the scientists are sure that it is a positive or neutral effect on the growth of the rice. This finding could lead to the development of the microbial inoculants for methane mitigation in rice. Methanotrops metabolize and convert methane into carbon dioxide that enables the reduction of methane emission from the rice plant. In rice field, basically, methanotrops are active near the roots or soil water interface. Rice fields are human made wetland. That's not a natural wetland, it is a human made wetland and the water logged are con logged for a considerable period of time so basically this anaerobic degradation of organic matter results in generation of methane gas yes. and the rice fields contribute nearly 10 percent of global methane emission now what is coming to the inoculation process what is inoculation inoculation is nothing but the microorganism put into a culture where they can grow and reproduce you can see in the picture there is four steps one two three four we need to we need not to lose sleep over here with the how the different stages are done basically what is inoculation that can be asked in the examination max to max inoculation is the process where the organism grow and reproduce now is only bacteria inoculants where what are the bio inoculants bio inoculants are living organism containing in strains of specific bacteria or it can be fungi or it can be ugly so there are also known as microbial inoculants that's the only thing we need to remember there is a question in a nutshell what is methanotrops methanotrops basically convert the methane in the first step to methanol and with the help of PMMO and SMMO. Now what is PMMO and SMMO? PMMO is a particulate methane monoxygenase. That's an enzyme and methane monoxygenase. That's S for soluble methane monoxygenase. So these two enzymes help the methanotrops to convert the methane into first methanol and then rest, then formaldehyde and then other steps are done. And lastly, the production of carbon dioxide with FDH with the help of FDH so that's we don't again not need to lose the sleep over here just the first step it convert methane to methanol and that methanol we will discuss the further uh, function of this methanotrops into formation of biodiesel now what is the significance of this methanotrops Methanotrops can effectively reduce the emission of methane which is the second most important greenhouse gas 
and 26 times more potent as compared to carbon dioxide. Native methanotropes isolated from rice fields can excellent in models to understand the effect of various factors on methane mitigation. Besides methane mitigation studies, methanotropes can also be used in methane value addition studies, that is valorization. Biomethane generated from waste can be used by the methanotropes and can be converted to value added products such as single cell protein, biodiesel, what I have already told you that from methanol that process will go on. Now in this picture you can visualize and remember the whole concept in a picturization manner. You can see two plants are there, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. On the right hand side there is red color that are methanotropes. The example of methanotropes is rhizosphere. These methanotropes produce carbon dioxide from methane and that carbon dioxide helps the plant in photosynthesis. Now on the left hand side this plant, the other plant, aerophorum, they produce the methane and that leads to the increase in CH4 this methane that produces from the plant is in terms increase the greenhouse gases and we already studied how much potent of this methane rather than the carbon dioxide so this whole thing of this methanotropes where we can uh, expect some of the questions maybe one that comes from methanotropes mainly from the usage or the ARI the institution so Thanks for watching this video and the next video will be in DVC island of Andhra Pradesh that is in news recent times. Tara and bye bye. Take care.